Yeah, again, I think our work started back in preseason. And, and, and um, you know, I, I think one of the most important things for our group, and it starts, you know, whatever, seven months ago, is, is tactical clarity. And being very clear with the roles and responsibilities in, in every position. Um, and we rotated guys in the preseason. Um, and we've been rotating guys for the last two months. And, and so I think when, and, and every player is going to express the, the role differently, obviously, because everyone's got different skill sets. But, but the most important thing for me is, uh, is, is checking for training. And, and you do that in training. Um, you do that in these games uh, when there's pressure on the line. And the, where I feel really good about this group is that everyone understands their roles on both sides of the ball. And, and, and I think that allows us to now rotate players. Um, you know, we had guys off for, for international duty. The other guys stepped in, did a fantastic job. And so for me, um, it's doubling down on everything that we've been doing. The guys up front did a fantastic job of stretching the line, creating space underneath for Saba and, and Diego to operate. You know, I think the one the, the one thing that we lacked tonight was was the final product. And uh, you're going to have games like that. Um, but I, I thought, you know, the run of play was was everything that, um, you know, we, we wanted to achieve. And so, again, I just... I just want to, you know, thank all the players for just a steely mentality and a dogged determination to stay in the game and get the result. All right, Cody, we'll go to you. Hey, Pablo. Um, great result tonight. Obviously, extending the road streak to four wins in a row. What's what's the fuel for the team behind not just being able to take points away uh, on the road, but also win and, and get the full three points? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, the locker room is is the most joyous uh, place to be after a great result. And I say to the guys in, in, in life, you always you do things for feelings. Right. Um, and, and the 30 minutes after a game is as high as you can be when you take three points on the road is 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 such a euphoric feeling. And, and that's why we train so hard during the week, because you got to You got to invest at the pull out, you know, and I think the guys, um, you know, you walk in that locker room now and it's and it's it's excitement. But it's controlled, knowing that again, we want we want to keep going. We want to we want to be better. Um, but obviously, the the vibe of the group is 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 fantastic. And and again, from game to game, eight or nine players are are, are contributing um, from game to game, different players. Um, and that just makes me so proud to have a team. And again, you can do you can win in all kinds of different ways. But when you win as a collective, uh, there's no greater feeling in sport. Awesome. Uh, and then just a quick question about the lineup. Uh, on the decision to start Vera over Silva, what what went into that decision? Um, well, again, I think if you look at uh, the DC game and and the St. Louis game, you know, I went with the majority of those guys um, that played in those two games. I thought we were fantastic. Um, those games happened to be on the road, um, and and I thought Vera's been excellent. You know, on both sides of the ball, his distribution, his 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 range of passing, the long diagonal, which is something that we wanted to exploit. Him. He hit it quite a few times opening up their, you know, stretching out their back line and stretching out their, their, their midfield. Um, and so I, I think he's a great runner form. You know, I think we have three quality center backs and, 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 and I think uh, for, for this game, it was really go, tapping back into the, the, the last two road trips where we were fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tyo, your line's open. Hey, Pablo, thanks for uh, hopping on with us after the win. Um, just a question on something that we talked about earlier in the season. You talked about, you know, those early season struggles, wanting to, you know, stay with the processes that you guys have as a team, as an organization. And then you've really kind of, you know, turned a corner, it feels like, throughout the last month or two. Can you talk about how the confidence level has either changed in the team or what those, you know, repeated processes have done um, for a group? And then Second part to, to that question is uh, Anderson Julio, you know, has had some golden opportunities in recent matches. And then, you know, to be able to get a, a game winner like he had tonight, can you speak to what that might do for a player's confidence to be able to kind of see one go in the back of the net at a key, a key opportunity like that? Yeah. Um, so as, as far as, you know, my philosophy as a coach, um, it, it's no different than, you know, a, a teacher in school, right? Um, you have a certain way of, of, of teaching the game. You have a certain process. You have certain processes that uh, create tactical clarity. 
Um, and, and knowing that we were going through a hard time, there was a lot of unknowns at the beginning of the year. Um, but, but, but for me, it's, it's an unwavering belief in what we're trying to achieve and how we're going to go about doing that. Um, and at times it's very difficult when you're fighting against, uh, tough results. Um, you know, people not, not happy with the way things are going, uh, which is a natural byproduct of, of not getting results. Um, and so, you know, I have the utmost faith in myself, uh, faith in the, in the coaching staff, um, and faith in the players. Um, and, and, and so oftentimes, uh, coaches and I've done it in the past are quick to change and feel like it's not working. Um, but I've experienced, uh, a, a good level of, uh, success doing it this way. And, and in times, uh, that are very difficult, it requires tremendous belief in, in, in the, the technical staff and, and myself. And so, um, and, and the players that, that want to buy in and, and again, buy-in comes from getting results. So I think the, the, you know, the most important thing is, is staying true to who you are and being authentic, um, to who you are as a person, who you are as a coach, and then getting a, you know, a talented group of guys that are willing to give everything for the result. And so, you know, as far as Ando, you know, I think he's been, uh, in great positions, as you rightly pointed out, uh, scoring goals is as much um confidence as it is uh technical ability or tactical understanding um he's gotten in some great positions uh with the goalkeeper hasn't been able to uh finish but i think a goal like tonight um it inspires you it makes you believe when that ball hits the net um there's nothing greater for a striker and so you know with chicho jumping on board dami and danny doing great and and ando scoring tonight uh, just really excited about the options and 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 the direction that the group's moving in from a from a frontline perspective. All right, we're going to go to Sean, and then we'll finish with one in Spanish. Sean, your line's open. Uh, yeah, Pablo, I was I was going to uh, ask you about kind of the that late game belief, but you actually touched on something right there, so I'll I'll bring it up and maybe follow it a little bit because you are about to get those prize reinforcements that you've been looking for Chicho and, and Nelson will be available by my next week, potentially as well there. Um, and you're doing it now in kind of this time where you guys are surging really well. A lot of guys are getting involved in the attack, scoring goals, that kind of thing. Is that a good problem to have, I guess, as a manager to, to sort of, it seems like you might have some tough decisions to make here in front of you. Yeah, I, I think it's they're they're very tough decisions. I, I think the hardest thing for me as a manager is um, sitting with the guys individually and, and talking through my decisions, um, because I think being upfront and being transparent is, is so critical to a player's psyche. Um, and obviously, with a couple extra players coming in, um, Andres will be joining the group next week. There's they're, they're, they're terrible conversations. They're not easy. Um, but as I've said to the guys, you know, I, I'm always charged with making the best decision for the group. Sometimes you're in and sometimes you're not. And, and, and that's what a team looks like and, and feels like. And so, um, you know, obviously Chicho was, was, was a guy that we've been, you know, looking at for, for quite some time. And, and, uh, I, I think he'll bring again, his own flavor. He's a killer in front of goal. It'll, it'll look different. Um, and, and Nelson is another, uh, a midfielder that just you know with Jasper and Pablo and, and Ryan you create a, a wonderful competitive environment and I think um, oftentimes people believe that because you have a coach uh, you're going to grow exponentially the greatest teacher is are, are the experienced players with certain qualities that you may or may not have at the moment and you're always striving for and so when since Chicho's been uh, with the group everyone has this this aura of, of confidence knowing that uh, we have a, a fantastic player on the front line and, and Nelson will, you know, and as far as Nelson, it's, it's really managing his, his minutes um, coming off of a championship in a long season in Columbia and, and how we enter, I think will be more art and science. But, but again, it's, it's, it's really important for me as far as the health of the team um, to, to, to make sure that we, that I don't disregard the work that's gone on to this point and, and how we bring those guys in um well like i said will be more art than science but uh they're great guys that can help us um achieve what we want which is you know to raise trophies and and, and to become a better version of ourselves every day i think you touched on this a little bit right there but that belief i mean now back-to-back -back games where you guys have had to score late really late at the death pretty much to get a, a result 
when at certain points of the game it didn't look that good how do you inculcate that belief i guess into your group there's there's a former mls team that i won't name that that had the mantra goonies never say die i don't know if you guys have something similar going on here with kind of that belief or or just how do you sort of develop that again i I don't think there's any secret sauce to that. I, I think you have to come in every day and there's got to be standards um, within the team that you uphold during the week. And I, I, again, I think if you hold high standards during the week and, and, and they hold themselves to high standards, which is, which is the case, um, then the weekend becomes uh, n- nothing different. We don't change mindsets from the way we train to the way we play. We, we ask a lot of the guys during the week and at times it's tough for them. Um, but I think it's moments like these uh, these last two games where you stay in there and you persevere, um, that you get your reward, you know? And so it makes, it makes the message a lot easier when you feel the satisfaction of of a result like this on the road and, and last week late in the game. And, um, again, I think oftentimes we talk about so many things about in, in soccer, um, but competing the right way for me is the most important thing because again, the the old the the old uh, saying you know hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard you know and so we have both we have guys that work extremely hard and guys that are very talented and and we want to keep keep that momentum going and the only way to do that is to double down this week in training. All right, Isai, we'll finish with you in Espanol. Gracias, Mike. Eh, hola, Pablo. Eh, primero, eh, felicitarte, obviamente, por Por la victoria del día de hoy, eh, dos juegos consecutivos donde se llega el gol en la última instancia. Bueno, la vez pasada fue el del empate, esta vez el de la victoria. Funcionan nuevamente los cambios como el juego pasado. Eh, Musovski anotó el primero en el partido anterior que había entrado el cambio y ahora lo hizo Anderson Julio. ¿Qué es lo que le dices tú a los jugadores al momento de que el juego pues está con gran intensidad como el día de hoy? Más allá de las indicaciones, obviamente, lo que tienen que hacer en cuanto a lo mental, porque, eh, bueno, Anderson no ha estado pasando por un buen momento últimamente y creo que el gol de hoy le, le ayuda muchísimo personalmente para poder eh, progresar más en su fútbol. Sí, yo creo que todos los partidos son, son diferentes y, y pues los cambios son, son importantes para las tácticas, pero también para la energía y la mentalidad del grupo. Y yo creo que cuando el equipo ven que el Anderson, que bien, que tiene velocidad, que es rápido, entra en el partido, ahora cambia la, la psicología de, 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 de nuestro rival. Y lo único que le, le ha faltado es el, es el gol. Y hoy día lo marcó, un gol muy, muy importante para el grupo. Y ojalá siga en la misma forma y, y, y siga anotando. Y con respecto a lo que ha sido el, el partido, ¿Cuál fue tu, tu mayor impresión en cuanto a lo que se hizo bien? Porque sabemos que el, el equipo va de, de menos a más conforme avanza la temporada, pero ¿tú qué consideras que el cuadro ha ido mejorando para poder eh, seguir con ese buen ritmo que te está reflejando muy bien dentro de lo que es la visita, pero que en casa pues ha, se ha ido batallando, pero más bien vamos con el ritmo general de la temporada? Sí, yo creo que son, son, son dos cosas. En, el, en la parte ofensiva, creo que estamos creando muchas oportunidades. Ahora nos falta el último pase o la decisión para disparar al arco. Eh, pero pero de, de un área al otro, estamos tácticamente jugando un, un buen nivel. Estamos creando oportunidades. En el tema defensiva, eh, en casa, como hablé la semana pasada, a veces no, no abrimos demasiado porque queremos presionar, porque queremos encontrar el primer gol, pero como hoy eh, empezamos el juego eh, tre- a los tres cuartos de, 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 para empezar el, eh, la línea de defensiva, y yo creo que eso deja que el equipo está mejor armado atrás del balón, y cuando recuperamos el balón, ahora tenemos, tenemos jugadores en, en posiciones para, para atacar, y Para, el, para la semana que viene vamos, vamos a hacer lo mismo, porque tenemos mucho, mucho éxito afuera de casa cuando estamos más compactos defensivamente y yo creo que es el, eso, eso es lo único que vamos a cambiar. Pero estoy bien contento con el grupo, la forma en que estamos jugando, los chances que estamos creando y hay que seguir trabajando duro y eh, eh, esperar que, que sacamos el resultado el fin de semana. 
Gracias, Pablo. Gracias a ti. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you.